Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Carrie Love Cat, and I am doing Peas Challenge to talk about what your most favorite way of organizing is. So this is my not this <laughs> my knitting. Um, this is my favorite way of organizing. I did a video on this bag, but um, what I use this bag for is for everything. Everything that I'm working on goes in this bag, except for things that don't fit, which I have another bin in my closet where that goes. And that's basically it. Oh, and I have a painting desk, like for painting out in the garage. But in the house, this is basically all I have. I had a desk and everything, and I just, and I had all these bins, and I just found that I wasn't getting my projects done that I wanted to get done. So I slowly started last year de-stashing, finishing projects, and my whole goal was to get rid of all my bins, and I did, and so now this is what I have, and I find I am much more productive and much happier simply scrapbooking with this. <laughs> um, okay, so, <clears throat> basically, inside are um, some projects back here that I'm working on. This bag here, this because I used to have all these envelopes and stuff, and um, now I just have like two. So this one is stickers and embellishments, and I also have another rule because I was spending way too much time um, scrapbooking or buying scrapbook stuff that I wasn't ever going to use. Is that I keep the stuff in here that I'm working that I'm doing to work on a project right now. And I do all my layouts with removable glue dots. And then when I'm done with my layouts, then I go in and embellish because then I can go to Michael's or Joanne's and I know what kind of embellishments I want. And so this is my embellishment bag. And this will probably be empty by the end of the month and then I'll start a new project. <laughs> this bag is stuff to scrap envelope I wrote on it. And this is um, because I started digital scrapbooking as well to kind of cut down. I have, I don't know, let me pull something out. Okay, so, so I have like tickets from like, that's like a girls weekend trip we took. And I have pictures from our engagement. And I have, I don't even know what else I have in here. Just, okay, so like here's a, here's a guide to the New York City public library which is beautiful by the way I totally know why Carrie wanted to get married there in <laughs> Sex in the City um, we went there last summer anyway so I have stuff like that that I really wanted to save in here and that my rule is one in one out so this stuff has I cannot put in a whole nother bag because I'm telling you ladies I had like when I got done, I had 16 or 17 of these bags to scrap, and I was so overwhelmed that I just said, I have to start finishing these projects. I'm not shopping anymore, I'm not buying anymore, I am done, and I'm finishing these projects, and I did it, so now that's my one envelope. <laughs> so even though this doesn't look like a lot, this was actually a lot of work. Okay, so now back here, I have stuff. I'm working on a little mini album, so there's some stuff for that back there. And then I have all my paper. Maybe I can just take this up and show you. So then I have all my paper that I'm using, and I the same rule with embellishments applies to paper. I only buy paper I'm going to use. That I got in the $2 bin. And then usually paper stacks, if there's only a couple of sheets left, I just rip them out and put them all in one stack. So this is kind of like the random stack. This is, um, I just bought this, the baby girl, and it wasn't on sale. I was really mad, but I used a coupon. But um, because I'm finishing that baby album, so I got it, so I know I'm going to use it right away. It's not going to sit around forever. And then I have um, regular cardstock, extra black cardstock, and then I have some scrap paper, and then my other cardstock, and then I have... Way down at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see here. Sorry for the shaking, I'll try to fix it. I have all my pictures that I'm working with. Okay, so let me set this back up here so you guys don't get sick. 
Um, so that's basically how I scrapbook. And this is great because, you know, I can wheel it around and take it places. And it has that great little handle there. So what about tools? What do I use? Well, I have in this pocket over here. Let me put this down a little bit so you can see better. Boop. Okay. I have glue dots. And I have one of these. It's almost out. Um, but I always just use the removable glue dots. I very rarely ever use the other kind. Um, because if I'm making a project that I want to stick, I use, I still use the hot glue, I know. Um, but these are great because they don't ruin your pictures and you can move layouts around, which I do often. Like, I get all my pictures in and then I go back and embellish and that's just the way I do it. I have tons of Sharpies, pens, pencils. Um, instead of a distressor, I have a nail file, and it works just the same. I'm very minimalist scrapbooking here. Um, and then here, I have my distress inks. So, same thing. I only get colors that I want to use. And then in here, I have more stuff to scrapbook. Now, this is stuff from my life, but you have to remember that I had, oh my gosh, four boxes of stuff, six boxes to start that my mom sent me that I scanned everything and then I cleaned out and then I started scrapbooking. So that is what I have left and I'm very proud of myself because I have now a beautiful set of, I think, six scrapbooks that I have my family and my life and um, high school and college and everything and I mean, we just weren't organized growing up. We just didn't have that stuff. So it's kind of cool now. And I don't have everything in there because I scanned it, a lot of it. So it's just the good pictures, which I really like. And maybe I'll share those. I'll share my scrapbook library. And then over here I have scissors. I have my funky scissors. My old standby scissors. I have these fabric scissors because I'm always cutting up t-shirts. Cutting the tops off t-shirts. I think I made a video. I did make a video about scrapbook style and what I wear when I scrapbook. So that's basically it, and now I, I know you're probably saying, well, where's your paper trimmer? Well, where are your stamps? Because I'm not a big stamper, but I do like the alphabet stamps. I use those for titles a lot. So I'm going to pick you up and walk you over into my closet to show you where I keep that stuff. And don't laugh, because I don't have, we don't have custom closets yet, so I just have like a very Target closet. But, um, okay, so here's my closet, and there's my vision board. Yay. <laughs> I just started CrossFit. And then behind here, it is my project bin. So, in here, you'll see things I'm finishing. I have paper bags. I have clips for a project I'm posting on Facebook right now. I hope you check it out. The Carrie Love Cat Show, because it's really cool, and I'm really excited about it. I have this bag of odds and ends and markers and hot glue. I have all my stamps down here. There's my paper trimmer. These are my colored pencils. I love illustrating. That you've seen, that just needs to get put away with the Valentine stuff. And there's more stuff down there, but I don't want to dig through it because it's all organized. <laughs> and, um, and then right here, I have a present bin. So if I finish stuff, I just put it here and back up. I just put it in that little present bin. I know, everything's in like one closet, it's so crazy. And then down here, which is really funny, um, I don't have a bookcase yet. I don't know if you can see that. There's a box, that's an old wine box that says Storia di Amore, like Story of Love, and those are my completed scrapbooks. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine completed scrapbooks pretty good and I just took that old wine box and covered it with scrapbook paper and I think it came out really nice so that's where I keep my scrapbooks right now and then I have a bunch of minis and stuff in the top of my closet in a bin but I'm not going to show you that because well, too crazy. That's that ladies and um oh and that's from Oxygen Magazine you got to read it it's really good it's a good magazine and um and then back over here is my little scrapbook case and I have another scrapbook bag that I take to crops and stuff right there if I want to just take a few things. And then finally, 
The last organization thing I have is this, um, this, um, one of my coworkers gave it to me. It's beautiful. It's from India. And that's where I keep, I have to set this down. This is, video is probably making everybody dizzy. <laughs> you guys can see all my junk everywhere. Um, this is really pretty. It's like made out of stone. And um, it's for jewelry, but inside I keep my hard drive. And I have backups and stuff. And actually, um, we had a really good idea to get, um, to keep our backups at another place, just in case anything happens. So all our pictures and everything that we scanned from our childhood and everything. And that's really all I care about on here. Everything else you can get replaced except the pictures. So um, this is where I keep it, and I keep it in safe in this little <laughs> box and that's where most of my pictures and projects and backup of my blog everything is in there so yeah ladies that's my scrapbooking that's my organization I do a lot of stuff I run I work I craft I blog I write so I kind of have to compartmentalize everything but um thank you for watching and thank you for the challenge P I loved your um the way you organized your things in your CD case, I thought that was really cool and a really neat idea. And um, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!